Hello everyone! Uh, obviously, or maybe not so obviously, hopefully I made it obvious, uh, this is a giveaway video. Matter of fact, uh, you can see this stack right over here. It goes all the way to the floor. I believe I counted right. Uh, 15 different quads uh, to give away. You may have heard me mention in other videos how you know the shelf was getting full, my wife noticed, and uh, she... Uh, sometimes encourages me to clear the shelf, so to speak. Uh, so that's what this video is. Before we get started, uh, the scammer's gonna come along. They're going to pull the icon off the channel, make it look like it's me. They're probably gonna use Nick Burns in their name some way. Uh, they're probably gonna get you to try to contact them via WhatsApp or Telegram or some other method uh, that I won't be using, so please don't fall for that. Uh, the best thing you can do if that scammer comes along, and hopefully I've put a few samples of what their name looks like around here, they're gonna say you've won something on this video. This video doesn't tell you you've won something, it's actually the next video, the results video. Um, uh, the best thing you can do is click the triple buttons by their comment and classify it as spam, uh, and then give it a category. I think YouTube prompts you for a category. You could just call it a, a spam or, or a commercial content or what have you. Um, that will help, and then when I pop in, as I am able to throughout the course of the day, um, I'll hide them or ban them from the channel, whatever it is that, yeah, it's just repetition at this time. I can't even remember what the little uh, name for the thing is that I do. Uh, so down in the video description down below is going to be a form, and that is going to be how you get involved in the spreadsheet, or excuse me, not the spreadsheet. That will output a spreadsheet, but that's how you get involved in the giveaway. Um, I will ask for a friendly name as well as your name. Uh, I won't make the legal name required, but uh, a name in general uh, to use for the giveaway results video uh, will be needed. Um, I may put a question or two down there just to get a little bit of feedback uh, from those of you in the FPV community and, and what you like, what you don't like, what you're looking for, um, what you're hoping the next FPV breakthrough might be. By the way, you might be hearing some noise. Uh, it is spring break and my kids are home and I can hear one directly above me in the kitchen as the wood floors up there kind of squeak around a little bit. So sorry if you're picking that audio up from uh, their activities. Might be a little bit of a music and I hope that doesn't cause a problem uh, because I think the kid that's up there tends to listen to music while they're doing their kitchen activities. Uh, by the way, I'm planning kind of to record at this time two uh, giveaway videos. One is this one, which will be all quads, and the next one will be radios. Uh, I think I thought I'd separate those rather than buying radios and quads because one, the packages get bigger, so then my shipping costs, and I do cover shipping up to $35 uh, per package, uh, my shipping cost gets uh, pretty large or actually grows quite a bit. Um, if you're not familiar you know, with shipping stuff, at least I use stamps.com, have an account with them. Uh, I have to weigh and measure every box and then I input the shipping information when we get to that phase and then that calculates how much it's gonna cost. Typically what I've found with FPV stuff is it doesn't generally get too heavy, but it can get bulky and the bigger the box is, then the prices start to jump up. Generally, USPS is the cheapest uh, shipping method that I use, uh, but sometimes UPS is cheaper as well, so you may find that uh, I ship differently. But that's all kind of the results video. Uh, you may want to click that subscribe button down there, and if you like getting free stuff, hit the thumbs up. Um, the subscribe button will help you make sure you get the notification. Uh, the form will collect email addresses because that is how I will contact you. No, I won't be telling you you won like the scammer did down in the comment section. That's not how this works. The scammer doesn't pay attention. Um, hopefully you do, and you know that the scammers come along. Uh, one other thing to note is I don't ship batteries. When you include batteries, at least to do it the right way, is to let the shipper know, and then it gets that hazardous material sticker, and the shipping costs go up significantly. So no batteries. Batteries will be something you have to provide uh, for all these quads. All these quads, by the way, have reviews on them. So if you have any questions about those quads, please watch the review first because that's kind of what I'll have to do on some of these uh, before I can answer your question because I can't remember every quad and every experience I had on the channel. I think there's been 750 videos over the last year, so about 100 videos a year. It's kind of hard to remember everything, and especially as... I continue to age. Okay, you can probably see from my stack over here, we've got smaller boxes on top. I'm gonna to try to mix them up from the smaller and the larger boxes just to kind of give us some variety. But let's get started. First up is the Tyro 79 Pro. Uh, this is uh, the 2022 edition. 
I've got props and all the accessories and stuff in here. I do believe I removed the receiver, so you will need to add a receiver. Uh, that could be the case for all of these quads, and rather than saying it in each and every box, uh, just plan on providing your own receiver if you already have a radio. Of course, I always encourage people to use Express LRS because you can buy all sorts of different sizes of receivers, and they're available all over the place, and they're pretty cheap. There is a little bit of a learning curve, though, so keep that in mind. First up. Tyro 79 Pro 2022 edition. I should mention just because I'm giving these away doesn't mean they're no good. I should also mention that I don't sell any of these quads. Usually after these videos, I get a lot of messages saying, hey, I'll buy that quad from you. One, if it's appeared in the video, I can't then sell it to someone else. Two, I don't sell uh, because it doesn't sit well with me because I've crashed all this stuff. And if I were to even get any sort of nominal value out of it, as far as monetary purchase from you, and then you got it, and the next battery plug-in, it goes up in smoke, or it doesn't survive very long, and for whatever reason, that the purchaser would be unhappy, that just doesn't sit well with me, and it's, it's not something that I want to handle either. It's just not worth it. Uh, I would rather just give this stuff away. Uh, even if you don't fly FPV actively now, if you're interested, that's my preference is if you're interested or you're an active flyer uh, or you are doing your research to become an active flyer. Those are kind of the targets for why I do giveaways. But if you get free stuff and then you resell it and it can benefit your life some way, I'm okay with that too. Uh, it doesn't do any good for any of this stuff to stay in my house. So if it gets you a little extra money in your pocket for some groceries or a bill, I'm fine with that, but you have to deal with that hassle of if it doesn't work with whoever you sell it to. So you might want to test it before you sell it if you have that ability. Uh, next up is the Speedy B Flex 25. Super small, little sin whoopy sort of, sort of thing. It's got the LED lights all around the prop protection. Uh, this is one of the smaller in the two inch category, or actually two and a half inch category, because the props do overlap. Uh, this is analog, by the way, and I do have an extra prop protection, so I will include that in the box. This one, according to the box, is the iFlight ProTech R25, and this is the HD edition. Is it the HD edition? It is. Uh, it's got a, a Vista or Runcam link, whatever you want to call it, down in there, and it's got the Polar camera up front here. Another Sinwoop. Uh, this is uh, from iFlight. I don't think I have the receiver in this one still. I may have used the DJI remote to fly this particular one, but uh, that is next up on our list of quads to give away. Gipper C Sinlog 30. So three inch props on this particular one. Uh, this one is also uh, a Vista or Runcam link, so HD, DJI HD. I've also got some extra prop protection, uh, basically all the accessories that came with it, some extra foam as well. Uh, so that is next up on our list, the Gepardy C Sin Log 30. Next up on our list is the smallest uh, in this giveaway, I believe, the Sub 250 Nanofly 16. Now uh, you can look at the review video, but this is a one S quad with a GMB 27 connector. Again, just because I'm giving stuff away doesn't mean I don't think it's any good. I have got loads of my builds that I can fly. Uh, whether it's a whoop or a toothpick or a two inch or a three inch, uh, there are actually very few bind and flies that I keep around and it's usually because I haven't built something very, very similar and it might serve some sort of function, whether it comes to component testing or something along those lines. So uh, next up on our list is the Nanofly 16. Following that with another, uh, I think this is 2S, isn't it? This is the Nanohawk X. No, it's 1S. At least I've got these little connectors in the box, so. Jeez, I forget. I haven't flown this one since the review, at least not that I recall. Um, and I did find it on the shelf. I do think this is 1S. They just used an XT30 on here in order to get the most possible throughput to uh, from the battery to our flying components here. Uh, so, Nanohawk X from Emacs. Next up is a big one. This is the GEPRC Synlog 35. Is this one HD as well? Yes, this one is also HD or Runcam Link, Cadix Vista. DJI FPV, not O3 air unit in this particular one. Uh, another cinematic, cine whoop sort of quad. A little tiny uh, cine whoop here. This is the iFlight Alpha C85 HD. Uh, again, HD. This one actually uh, is more than just a small cine whoop. I actually flew this, I think, in a couple of other uh, videos you may have seen on the channel. I think specifically I was uh, showing some gates in HD, and so I'd use this one because it's nice and small, it was HD. Um, so yeah, that's next up on the list of quads to give away. This is the iFlight Alpha 
HD A75, HD uh, 40 millimeter props, uh, kind of an indoor whoop. You can definitely fly it indoor whoop. I think I used it indoors a few times when flying around some new gates. Uh, I think it's 3S, but again, there's a review video so you can check that. Um, I think this has the kind of V2 polar camera if you're, or the V2 nano camera. If you recall those, the first nano camera uh, was really pretty bad, especially outside. Uh, the V2 was much better. This is one that has not been flown. I purchased this from AliExpress. It's like TMRCC or TMMRC. Uh, I did review the other one that basically has all the same components. It's just a different frame. Uh, if you want to see that review video, I think it's called the Dolphin. Uh, if you need some more, I'll put a card up in the corner to uh, the counterpart of this one. This one has not been flown at all. Uh, didn't even connect a receiver to it. It's kind of 2018 sort of parts um, and they're cheap. So I found on the original, my camera didn't work at all or it was blurry, out of focus and I couldn't get it in focus. So this might just be kind of a part swapper or a spare parts bin sort of quad, but it's free. This is the uh, Flywoo Nano Baby. This is the 1S edition, kind of low KV. It had pretty good long flight time if that's your thing but it was really slow sort of cruisy no tricks or punch outs or anything like that uh, of course you can do with it whatever you want you can take the components off put it into a whoop make it an indoor flyer put more prop blades on it do what you want make it your own gep rc synlog 35 this one is also hd or vista run cam link um antenna's laying over just because it was in the box uh, another sort of sin whoopy sort of quad that you can get. So that is next up in our list of quads to give away. Next up is a, a Flywoo quad here. This is the H20 HD. This is a hex. We got two downward facing motors right here. I also have a box full of extra prop guards and other accessories. I'll wrap them up as kind of one package and uh, put them in brown paper so that they're somewhat discreet. I believe this one's 4S and You've got five bladed props on here. And I think I do have, yeah, the mount for the external HD camera uh, is right there on top. So you can use it that way or you can fly it more aggressively or you can take it apart and make it your own. The next two I'm not crazy about giving away. But I think they still have some utility, especially when it doesn't cost you anything. This is the HDLRC Veron uh, 35 CR. And you can see there, broken motor. Yeah. Broke this plum off. I think I hit, stripped out motor screws. It became a bigger problem. So, um, yeah, this prop protection's even busted, and I don't even have a spare one. Of course, you could glue these things back together, take the components off. Um, that's why I still think there's some utility. I really don't want to throw it away. Just put it in the trash. And I wouldn't necessarily use any of these parts in the near future uh, because I oftentimes will order parts that are more modern day or current day. That way I can do my own builds. I can get secondary experiences with those flight controllers, those motors, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's broken, not flyable, but you've got some utility in flight controller, VTX camera. Uh, you've got three good motors, um, VTX antenna, battery straps, and it doesn't cost you anything. So I think that's kind of compelling that there's still some utility at $0. Provided you don't live in Antarctica and it's cost $100 to get there. Remember, our shipping limit $35 per package is what I'll cover. And last but maybe least is this uh, Sinwoop from HGLRC, the Veron. This is a three inch, this is a classic Sinwoop design that we saw for a long time. This is one I would encourage you to just take the components out of the frame and put it in something else. Because these really flew like <laughs> flying pizza boxes or a potato. They just didn't fly well. And we, we tried to make this design work for, what, a year and a half, two years? Before we finally figured out we needed to go to a smaller profile protection and we needed to use better props. Um, so, yeah. This has got working components on it. Components are, are, well, I shouldn't say they're working. They were working last I flew it, uh, so they should still work. Uh, it is a bit old. I think this one sat at the bottom of the shelf and I missed it a few times. So that's kind of my fault. Um... Yeah, the camera's gonna be a bit older. This is analog, this is not HD. Okay, so that is the end of the giveaway. I think I started the giveaway by saying that there was 15, but there's actually only 14 because there was one box I counted as individual quads, whereas one box is accessories for that hex. 
So 14, uh, I'll put a list either on screen here or I'll put a link to a text file down in the video description. Remember in the results video, if you're picked first, you get the first quad. If you're picked second, you get the second quad as it appeared here in the video. There's no you know, asking which one you want. That's not gonna happen. That I've tried doing that and it just takes a lot of time and then you end up delaying people who are actually paying attention and attuned to what's going on versus those that are checking their email once every three weeks or something like that. Speaking of timelines, uh, I'll say it now and I'll say it again in the results video. Uh, after the results video goes live, you've got five days to get in contact with me. Um, no, I uh, won't be accepting emails from email addresses that aren't part of the winners. Uh, I'm not, uh, it's not my first day on the internet. Uh, I haven't been scammed to my knowledge as of yet, but I've had many people try. I've got a pretty good method of figuring out whether someone's scamming me or not. I've had people copy other people's YouTube channels when they have uh, content on them and then say it's them and name the channel the same and stuff. And um, that's all fine and well, but there are techniques of, of finding out who's a scammer and who's not. Uh, just like you should know in the comment section in this video, there's going to be that scammer that's going to have Nick Burns in the name uh, in some form. It'll probably say, you know, big winner Nick Burns or Nick Burns... FPV or something that's not mine, uh, you can go ahead and click the triple button, report that as spam. I'll come along and also ban them from the channel, but they'll pop up about every other day for the next uh, week or so. Uh, so we'll work together to ban them and clear them off. Someone trying to scam you out, they'll ask you to contact them via Telegram or WhatsApp or something like that, and they'll tell them you owe you money. You don't owe them money. So don't fall for any of that garbage. Please, if you haven't watched all the video or you uh, hear people in the comment section saying, hey, I won. No, you didn't win. This is not a winning video. This is an informational video of how you get involved in the winning. The results video is where the winning takes place. So scammer down there, you're wasting your time. I will also have another video coming out. It's actually those radios you see right back there. I've got three X lights right down over here. And yes, this is duct tape on the armrest of my chair. I'm a cheapskate and would buy a new chair. Um, actually got a chair a couple years ago and I just don't want to get away. Um, and then I've got a couple of other radios, a couple of T-Lite V2s back there. I think I had three of those sent to me. Uh, I've got plenty of radios, I've plenty of backup radios. So I figure this is another thing that could help people uh, either get involved or be able to get some SIM time. Uh, again, if they decide their FPV is not for them and they're just going to sell it and maybe buy an extra couple loaves of bread or something, I'm fine with that as well. It has some benefit for anyone who might win. Oh, some of you may recognize right, uh, right there, that's the Boxer. Relatively new radio. It's just not right for me, not right for my hands. Okay, there's a link down in the video description to the form that will probably ask you a question or two, real short, real easy to complete. Probably ask you for your actual name and your FPV or YouTube name. And that's how you get involved in the giveaway. Remember, I will pay shipping on each package up to $35. I haven't in the last four or five, six giveaways had a package come in above that. I have had a few packages that failed to be delivered and returned to me. If that happens, uh, I only ship it once um, because if I ship it again, there's no reliance that it's actually going to get there anyways. And then we're just down more shipping costs. Uh, so if it ships and then it doesn't reach you and ends up back to me, unfortunately, that quad will just go into another giveaway at some later time. Okay, I hope uh, you all enjoyed kind of just a, a one-off video here doing a little bit of a giveaway. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions, I will surely take them. I've got this giveaway stuff, I think, fairly down, though. But I certainly wouldn't want you to stop from commenting on any video. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.